Ladies and gentlemen, brought to you by the British Stars Organisation, this is the 2015 Lakeside World Championships. Marco Mayer is your referee for this best of... We now introduce a former Jersey Open champion, twice an England Classic champion. He's the reigning Northern Ireland Open champion, Dazza Glenn Darren! We now introduce the winner of over 30 world ranking titles. He's the reigning Welsh Open and International Open champion. Three times the Winmore World Master. Three times the Lakeside World Champion. It's Wolfie Martin And it's really rocking in here tonight. First, the six goes through for the final. And in the lakeside commentary box, it's Tony Green and Vassos Alexander. Thank you, Ray. Well, as you mentioned, 40 players qualified for this World Championship. Three remain. Scott Mitchell can sit back and enjoy this as Martin Adams and Glenn Durrant do battle for the right to play him in the final at about this time tomorrow. On one side of the hockey, one previous lakeside appearance, on the other, 21. Glenn Durrant here made his debut last year, losing in round two. He's won five ranking titles all in the past three years, most recently the Northern Ireland Open a month or two ago. 44 years of age from Middlesbrough. He's been throwing great all week, but so has Wolfie. Three times the world champion. Martin Adams is making his 22nd consecutive lakeside appearance, and this is his 10th semi-final, 58 years old from Peterborough. It's Durrant or Adams for a place in the final. The first to six sets. England against England, and the man in charge from Holland, Marco Mayer. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. First set, first luck. It's Glenn the Twelve first. Game on. Yes, and I'll be joining you for the first two sets, and I'm really looking forward to this. Could be a cracker. 16. Are you a favourite? I think Martin Adams has to start as favourite. We've just seen his Wolfie walk on. Believe it or not, that's the 70th time. 
Wanderers. He has walked onto the stage here at Lakeside. His 10th semi-final in 22 appearances. And he's been throwing well again after a couple of lean years by his standards. Had to beat the man who beat him in the quarterfinals last year, Jan Decker, in the first round. Last Saturday afternoon, dispatched him comfortably enough. And a little unlucky not to open his maximum account in the very first leg. Well, look at the uh, scores here. Ton, 140, all ready for Martin. 100. 16 to 51. And he's been playing out of his skin as Glenn Durant this week. 85. He really has, and he looks so calm and composed on the hockey. He said he had a moment of self-doubt against Daryl Fitton in the quarterfinals, but 55. it only lasted a moment. Yeah. And he won. He found a way to win. Quite comfortably in the end. Yeah, he lives in Middlesbrough. Some talent from up there in the north. One hundred. Wolfie, first to a finish, though, in a leg. Glenn started with the darts. 65, Martin requires 76. 16 for tops for Martin Adams to break the throw in the first leg. Yeah, this game solved in the first round. Martin Adams. Second leg gets Martin to show first. Says Martin Adams. Adams. Have some of that. Yeah, the howling has started. 98. Another good start. Just two off the turn. 114. Well, this is the darts that Glenn Durant has been throwing. The 140s, the tons, really turning the screw. He's been scoring so powerfully all week. Glenn Durrant. This is finished as well. That's been the good thing this year. 99. Glenn's been scoring better than Martin throughout the tournament. Four One points of better. 14. But it's about playing the match, winning the match in front of you. 84. He's left a decent finish to break straight back. He hasn't, Glenn. 131. So Martin, two 16s for a two leg lead. 114. Martin required 32. Double 16. You tweet it. Double it. Does he give Durant a chance? Yes. Then you require 38. Double 19, the shot. Going for six, is he? Yes, good thinking. Double 16. Yeah, that's game solved in the second line. Well played. Burn like it's done the throw first. Game on. It is good thinking when you hit it. He's looking very cool is Glenn Durant. Eighty-three. Lisa Ashton sitting down to enjoy the darts 
enjoy the second men's semi-final having just retained her crown as the women's world oh, champion and enjoying the first maximum of this semi-final well what a good celebration what a good cheer that was <laughs> and another one is it yes! Take that, take it back. Brilliant. Well, they have been big celebrations. <laughs> Felicia. Beat Fallon Sherrick in the final. 96. So this is the first of six sets, best of five legs in a set. Glenn down to a finish. Give it on the finish. One under. Glenn, you require 142. Needed the treble. 16. Marty require 121. Can he break back? With a 12 dart leg. Treble 11, double 14. Double 14 for a 1, 2, 1. And yeah, the 12 dart leg. Martinelli. Ball like this, Martin the Crow first. It's his highest checkout of the week, Martin Adams. Yes. The He's old, in the mood. The old man has come back from the hills. <laughs> One on that own 40. 58 years old. He won't thank you for that comment, Tony. I don't know. He is a mate. <laughs> and his bones are getting tired. One on His throwing arm, though, is... As fresh as ever. With the darts, throwing for the first set. 85. To level this. Durant needs to get into the scoring. 96. Right at the side of the hockey. 16. Chance now for Durant now to step in. 35 and a 60. Not hold that much. One of them, 38. That's what he's been doing. He's left to finish his thinking. Absolutely marvellous. I think everybody would like to see Durren take out 167 because it's flashy, but there's one man who wouldn't, and that's Darius Labanowskis of Lithuania, who currently is holding the check for £5,000 for the highest check out of the week, a 167. He'd have had to share it if Glenn had taken that out, but you need two trebles. Okay, finish on. Two treble twenties. No finish now. And Glenn on 71 could even the set 16 Glenn you require 71 360s in a row from Martin Adams 18 would leave double top and the match will be squared if he can get this and yeah, he can in the fourth line Glenn Durham 2-2 two, two. fifth block it's Glenn the 21st game on Glenn spent an hour or so this morning with Jamie Hughes, the 10th seed, practicing his finishing. And it's two out of two so far. Nobody well, has held their throw, as you can see, so far. So for what it's worth, Glenn has the darts in this leg. He started well enough. 140. 
What about this from Martin? Loads of room oh, for a third. Right wow, what a start to the evening. That comes Durham. He's at a 140. Martin at 180. Is this another 180? Why not? Bottom of them, 39. Yeah, you can see his thinking now. Martin has had 16. two maximums already this match. That was the second. Six darts for Glenn from 2-2-2. Two, two, two. For the set. Mine and that was a good last dart. It is. It's a finish. 1-2-6. And not bad at all. No pressure on it at the moment with this throw. 100. Then you require 126. So, three or four 19s required. Can't now finish. 48. Four or six 161. I should have said. But there this is go. for a 161 for the set. Eight, two on left. Ninety-nine. Well, there we go. Requires seventy-eight. Set point. That's the eighteen. So twenty. Double top. Oh, he's blocked it. He's going to get it over the top. Fifty-eight. It's Martin who requires sixty-two. His first missed double of the match, and it was for the set. So this to nick it. Double 16 for Martin Adams. He has two. Yeah, no, he needs just Martin Adams. one. On these Second fine set, first margins, Martin the throw first. Game on. Our semi-finals decided. Durant with a dart for the set. Just missed. Adams one stole it. 14. Has the dart in the second set. And he started with a 140. That comes Durant. One on the M40. Yeah. Only this one set separating them. 16. The whole set decided by the width of a wire. He did one thing wrong, Glenn Durrant, all set. 41. He missed one double, just, just low on the double top. And he was punished. But you know, Tony, that is why Martin Adams is making his tenth appearance in the semi-finals. He wins the legs he really needs to. He's a terrific match player. One of them, 23. Chance of another leg here. That is underway in the second set. One of them, 14. Martin on a 61 out shot, so 81. Ain't no difference on that Martin one. 61. Could go for 25. We'll see. Well, he did. So three. Double four. That's the shot. And yeah, that's what it's going to be. the first one. Martin Adams. He's howling. He's howling. Do you know what, Tony? That is the first leg 58. with the darts all match. <laughs> That's incredible. Now, he missed that one dart, Glenn Durrant, for the first set. And when your opponent is averaging 
102 near on. One on the line, 35. You just can't afford that. You can't afford even the one missed dart at a double, which is all he's had. Martin putting Glenn under so much pressure. 60. There's one set to love, one leg. Terrific scoring and terrific averages. And terrific checkouts. 100. Well done, Glenn. Ninety-nine. Finished one six seven. Both players were impressively calm backstage before this match. If he hits this, the lakeside will be anything but. Just low with a first dart. Now triple 17 to pile on the pressure on the 145, which is one better than anything Glenn, Glenn has managed this week. To get this. He will. Let's see. Treble 15. No, not now. So Wolfie back for 70. The material. Wolfie gets it. One on the M4. Martin requires 17. It's a break again. Treble 19 for double six. Now the bullseye. Oh, yeah, he's yes. been sold in the second round. Martin Allen. They love a leg to end with a bullseye. It's Martin of the Crowfoes. Beam on. They love a leg when Wolfie roars. And he's just won three in a row. Glenn's not held his throw yet. And, and that bullseye. Well, oh, right 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 Look at him, Wolfie setting the place alight. Oh dear, this is brilliant. One Throwing for a two-set lead. Martin Adams starts the leg. With a 180. He is back. 83. Good marker for the treble. 100. It's not enough in uh, this match. Just turns. Coming down. No, stay there. Lighting up the lakeside. One on the end, 31. Martin required 138. Good trouble, okay. 17, leaving the 170. Trouble, 18. Double 12! Oh, oh look at him! Glenn, you require 117. Here we go, the big one. Two trebles. Or oh, bull. Ninety-six. Marty you require 24. Two twelves for a two-set lead. Double six. Oh, double three, right at the bottom of the board. Yeah, yes, he has done it. He's Martin hit the Adams. doubles he's needed to. Martin Adams opens up a two-set lead early on. They walk off stage. Glenn Durham with plenty to ponder. The three-time champion has a two-set lead. At the moment, looks like he really means business.
Shift change at the commentary box. It's John Rawling alongside Vassis Alexander. Well, 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 we couldn't have another 6-0 semi-final, could we? Martin Adams is one of the great front runners, but Glenn Durrant has shown all week that he has a terrific temperament on the big stage. It's 2-0 Adams in a race to six as we get underway again with our referee Marco Meyer. There's a little bit of a... Third set, first lap, it's Glenn the Trump first, game on. There's a little bit of a whisper, Vassos, that uh, does it. Durant also more of a front runner than a battler from behind. Well, we're going to have to see his real resilience here. Going to have to see him dig in because there's not a lot, not a huge well, amount between them in terms of stats. But Martin Adams did exactly what he said he was going to do. He got out there and smashed him in the first couple of sets. And he, he's, as he likes to say, he's bullied him on the numbers. Well, look at those averages. 97's not shabby, you know, not shabby at all. Certainly not. Very difficult to play a 101, especially when the player throwing a 101 average is hitting his doubles. 140. Didn't have a dart at a double, Glenn Durrant, in the second set. That one he missed was a dart at double top, which hit the wire, but just fell short. Wonder. I wonder whether that, in the context of the match, even so early, was a very significant moment. Early days yet, but Durant could certainly do with picking up a set. He could do with winning this one. one, one, one and do you know what he could do with? He could do with holding his throw. Hasn't done it yet. One hundred. Then you require eighty-seven. Double eighteen. He yeah, needs. Oh yes. The first one. He's held his now. Game on. Well, that's the start he wanted. It's really important in this match that Durrant actually gets well, this one, one. takes this goes with throw that's going to be good enough he was slightly odds against with the bookies he was at the 11 to 10 shots adams quoted at six to four on but a fair few people thought that wolfie might be a bit well, vulnerable in this match we'll see i was chatting to them backstage they weren't chatting together but they were calmly having a drink and a chat close to each other there was an eerie calm around both ATP. camps I said to Martin, has anything at all unusual happened today? Anything at all out of the ordinary? He says, no, but that's how I want it. I want everything to be just right Even ahead if, of a big match. One of the Even if it had, I don't think he'd be telling you. Well, there is that. Close leg, this one. One of the fourteen. The Cats in tonight. Another Tom in sight. One hundred and fifteen. Martin require one hundred and thirty-eight. One hundred. Now is Durant. Is Durant, is Durant going to be able to get a break? when it counts he's had breaks in the first set but wasn't able to hold his own throw he's got a chance here double 16 this is a big dart 77 Martin required 38 straight for it yeah that's game shot in the second round Martin third luck it's Glenn the throw first game on Well, he had a chance there, Durrance, but he's got to put it behind him and looks as though he has. One on the end, 14. He goes maximum hunting once more. Adams has had three and Durrant two.
It's a little bit more human, isn't it? 34. Gives hope to the rest of us. When a man that's as experienced and skillful as Martin Adams hits a 24. 100. Good first start. And the oh, very, very handy indeed. Great time to be throwing that. And he'll come back with 81 now to regain the advantage in this third set. Which I really think is a big, big set this one, Vassos. Triple 10 for double 16, but Adams isn't halfway through yet. So he will be back. Yes, you're right, John. It's it's huge, isn't it? Because Glenn has the darts. And if he can't win this one, well... Well, you never say never, do you? They've been those, those terrific fourth match members. They've been great comebacks in the past, and it happens. But the odds clearly stacking up in... His favour if he continues to rack up the sets. Needs this one. Oh no dear, that's a big miss. Martin Ruban, 97. Treble 18 for double 12 to punish Glenn Durrant in the most painful of manners. 73. Well, Glenn Durrant Ruban gets out of jail 32. to a degree there, double 16. Oh, other side now. Eight, smile on the face of Wolfie. Now fours. Doesn't think that he's going to get it, yeah, but he does. There's a little shake in there from Wolfie, but then oh, uh, a smile by way of, I guess, congratulations, because he's gone 2-1 up in the set. He likes a scrap, does Martin. And of course, all the time, Glenn Durrant trying to focus on those doubles, totally unaware of those facial reactions of his opponent. You could probably have guessed what Martin was thinking. <laughs> You're right, though. Wolfie really does love a scrap, doesn't he? Crowd's loving this one now. 16. So he lands that double, having missed five to win that third leg. And having missed one, actually, in the previous leg, which Martin did punish. Sheer relief. 97. Nice cover shot. It's just a narrow advantage, but Adam's still with the darts. Beautifully. 180 be nice, 1-2-1. One, Nice check out, and he gets it with his fifth maximum already. And we're only in the third set. Eight in the match. He's already taken out 1 2 1 as Wolfie. He did. Fourth Opening four. set. Martin require 121. Did it with a double 14 last time. Well, he's going to have to go treble 17 now. Not this time. 43. Ton here makes this interesting. 180, very interesting. One hundred. Martin requires 78. So 78 to square up the third set. Going with the darts. Well, he can't do it now, so Shanghai required from Durham and this to take the set. There's the treble, so he'll have a dart at a double. Tops for the set for Durham. 
Glenn's been practicing his doubles every day with Jamie Hughes, his good friend, the 10th seed, who he beat actually earlier this week. And what they do is they put up 1 2 1 and they give themselves six darts from it. Do that and it's 1 2 2 and 1 2 3 all the way up to 150. Takes them about 40 minutes. Well, the averages show that this is a good match, both of them round the ton mark. Sometimes, come to the latter stages of competition, you can see nerves kick in. Not so much here. Big scores from both men. One of the end, 14. Great start from Durant in this leg. 137, 140, pressuring the Adams throw. Only a ton from Wolfie. So Durant's nicked the darts. Only a ton, that's how well Durant's throwing. Great last dart. One hundred and thirty-three. So one thirty-three to break the throw. Great first dart. I mean, down the board. He's got that as well. Double eight. Oh, superb! Yeah, one thirty-three checkouts. Durant is now starting to fly, and Wolfie can only admire. Second lock gets Glenn the throw first. Game on. Little shuffle, alley style. A bit like Sandy Lyle when he won the Masters. One of them and 34. He's throwing now, Vassos. He's right into it and he knows it. 12 dart leg to break oh, the Adams throw. 81. Both players now averaging around about 101. Good standard. Ninety-six. Two fine competitors bringing the best out of each other at the moment. Adams won the first Four two three. sets. Durant didn't hold his throw. He is a granddad, Martin. But Durant hit back in the third set, and he now has the break in the fourth. 54. One under. Durant on 2-1-7, looking to build on this momentum which he's gained, and he just checks the scoreboard. 97 remaining. One of them and 39. Excellent darts. Just drifted right with his first dart a couple of times tonight, Martin. 83. Then so, you require a 78. 78. To go 2-0 up. Double 12. Double 6. 72. Ooh, Missed that by away. Time though. Go well, two double go. two here or go straight well, at it. Six. six required. Straight for it. 
Yeah, that's Australian Jim Shaw for the second round. The red feet at the bottom of the board. Third like it's Martin the draw first. You Green. see the look of determination or inspired guess or what? Just see his eyes aim low. <laughs> Throw back from the twenties, single twenties. Nice start, meanwhile, for Wolfie. Has to win this one, or the match goes all square. Well, we thought the deciding leg of the first set might be key. The third leg of the third set, Martin had a dart for it. But Glenn did eventually win it after missing five darts for it. Maybe that's more indicative of which way the match is going. Or perhaps we haven't had the key moment yet. Well, there's an opportunity for Durant here. That's a poor visit from Adams. And Durant can smash him here. And is doing. Oh, it up for his fourth maximum of the match. And within touching distance. Come on, he says to himself as he comes back from the hockey. Well, and now well, comes 14. back needing a 90 checker. On an 11 dart leg here. Bullseye for the set. 65. Martin Adam Green again. 16. 1 1 6 to keep it alive. Great first dart, superb. 16 would leave tops. He's got it. Now double top for the 1 1 6. 96. Green you thought that was five. there. It had to be there but wasn't. So two darts for the set, for Durant. Yeah, that's Kim Shaw in the fourth set. Glenn Durant. We're all square in the semi-finals. It's two sets apiece. Wolfie started brilliantly. Durant has hit back. Fifth set, first luck. It's Glenn the Trump first, game on. Really good match this is turning out to be, though. We could do with a close one. And it looks like we're getting it. We're oh, also no, getting a brilliant match. The match peppered with 180s, scoring, finishing. So far, so good in the semis. Scott Mitchell awaits the winner well, in the final. He'll be watching. Well, Martin started so well, he was averaging One nearly day. 102, but now it's Glenn with a 102 average near on. Martin just shy of 100. Nothing between them, really, is there? Who's going to produce the consistency One from here day. on in? Let's just hope, from a neutral's point of view, that they keep scoring like they are and finishing Absolutely. like they are, because this could be an absolute belter. 180, 100, 140. Nine darts, he's on 81. With the throw. So maybe Wolfie won't be too worried if this one were to go against him. Twelve for Bull. If he hits the treble, it's double thirteen. But the bullseye. For a 12 dart leg. Marty, you require 121. He's had this before. Checked out 121 in the first leg, in the first set rather. That's the bullseye now. To take one against the throw. Yeah, Ready it's in the first leg. Martin Allen. That slowed the charge. It's more than the throw first. Game on. Take that. 
He'll really have enjoyed that, Martin Adams. Glenn Durant's dad, Fred, among those anxiously watching on. He wasn't anxious before, he will be now after that bullseye. There he is. Not missing a trick. 99. Yeah, needed that after a 64 with his first visit. Must back up the break of throw, Martin, to reassert some of his authority on this semi final. One on the end, 14. Terrific stuff again from Adams. He's on a finish. Ninety-six. Martin you require one hundred and fifty-seven. Six starts for it. If he needs him, we'll do now. Good evening, incidentally, if you're watching us from the North Ormsby Working Men's Club. In Middlesbrough, 16. Supporting Glenn Durant. And good evening for all in Marty, Market Deeping as well, who'll be howling for Wolfie. Fifty-nine. Marty Ricard, Not to mention those who ride the seven seas. Tops. Great yeah, goals. Team show, and it's Fine goal. finish. Martin Allen. 14 darts, 2-0 Adams. Game on. He's only needed 26 darts so far, this set, Martin Adams, to take a two-leg lead. 81. Well, he talked about what the break can do. Martin Adams has come back after that break, flying. Both breaks, in fact, have shifted the momentum of the match. One on the end, 14. Dieter Hedman watching on. Women's number one seed. It's warm tonight. Another of her fans. One on the end, 14. He's back in the groove, isn't he? 100. Well, we average. mentioned that Glenn's average had overtaken Martin's. It didn't last long. Ninety-eight. No checkout. Big score from Martin here. Puts Durant under pressure on his throw, and he's filling it up. One on the end, fourteen. Another. Ton 40, 16th to add to his five maximums. Well, he's done one, two, one twice now. How about the hat trick? 16 for a third set. Marty require 121. Well, we all know the way by now. Treble 17 now leaves the bullseye. Well, not this time. 38. Then you require 122. 12 18 for the bullseye. Must hit bullseye. 97. Marty you require 83. So 83 for Adams against the throw to take the set. Double 16 after that treble 17. Double 8 now for the set. Yeah, this game's sold in the fifth set. 3-2 Adams. His fans Six are howling again. It's Martin the Crow first. Game on. 12, 14, 15.
respectively. How many darts Wolf is needed in the last three legs? One and it's not a shabby start to the sixth set either. Just a reminder, it's the first to six who takes a place in the final. Durham but, won't be finished yet. Look at that, John. Both of them averaging way over 100, and they're both finishing very nicely indeed. Terrific standard in the semi-finals, as you would expect. Both these fellows knew they'd have to be right at the top of the game to emerge victorious. This is the sort of glimmer of an opportunity that Durant will want to press home here. But hits him with a maximum now to just put that throw under pressure. That's unlucky. One on the line, 20. Nearly. He'd have probably taken one, two, three if you'd offered it to him. Sure he would. One on the line, 68. Brilliant standard again. Puts him on a finish. Fifty-eight. Martin Rigoy, one hundred and thirty-eight. If you're wondering why he went for the sixteens, single would have left one seventy, but it's one three eight, which can't now be taken out, having missed the first treble twenty. He will be back though, Martin. Another treble leaves double nineteen. Sixteen. Now oh, Durant would love to take this opening leg here of this set. That's two in. One on the left, 40. Martin requires 78. 20 would leave tops for Adams. Thirty-eight. Now, big, big visit 80. for Durant this. Yes, he'll have two darts at a double. Yeah, this game saw in the first round. 14 darts. Second round, like it's Durant. Kind of first. Game on. The standard is so high just now in the semi finals. If he winds up winning this match, that will be a double that he will relish. Because it gives him the psychological edge, but is he just going to hand it straight back now? Absolutely nothing between them, is 27. there? 27. He'll be disappointed if he doesn't hit 58. treble 19 there and hasn't. Usually so good at punishing a cheap visit. Andy last dart. We should mention we saw Dita Hedman with her fan. It is it is really hot up on that stage under the lights. Martin will be used to it. In his tenth semi-final, he's played long matches before, but Glenn, it's only the second year he's appeared at Lakeside. He only reached the second round last year. One of the best of 11 is new territory for him. Really good last start. Fair amount of liquid refreshment being taken by this capacity crowd. Nine Trying to stay five. cool. And you need to stay cool when you dress as a wolf. Another of those that put him in a great position. Look at that, he's on a ton. To back up the break. Should be on a finish after that. 100. Then you require 100. But it's a big, big finish. And Durant. Needs treble 19 in tops now. 76. Marty you require 167. 167 would equal the best checkout of the tournament. He's treble 19. Oh, just the wrong side of the wire, a bit unlucky. So Durant will come back. 
with a big shot at double 12 to put him 2 0 up in this set. Make all his smoggy fans feel a bit more comfortable. Pressure on this one then. Yeah, this game shot in the second round. Pressure, he so said. Good. Pressure. Birdland gets mad at the throw first. Game on. Shrug of the shoulders, as much as to say. What? A mere bagatelle. Nothing. And I'm two up. Sixteen. That was an important dart. Next break, if you're wondering, comes after seven sets. Whoa. Maximum number six, the 11th of the match. Mike Day, the New Zealander, watching on in the crowd. He was the oldest competitor here. Wolfie, 58, he's the second oldest. One on the day, 40. Still in good fettle, though, for a slightly greying wolf. To be fair to Martin, he doesn't look much different than he did when he made his debut in 94. Don't with a chance to close out this set here and square up the match once again. Well, 164, it have hoped to have been a little bit further towards the finishing line. Eighty-five. Glenn, you require 164. The momentum just now is with Glenn Durrant from Middlesbrough. Had he got the treble 18, it would have left him on the bullseye, but Adams now can keep the set alive with 133. Can't do it now. So Durrant will come back, looking for 68, looking for the 13 here. Well, that's a good visit. Leads him on top, now Durrant, 68. To take the set 3-0. Double four. Yeah, yes, wow. Super finishing from Glenn Durrant. That's three sets in a row have gone 3-0. Durrant's won two of them, and we're back all square. Three apiece. Seven sets to have seven a seven look. First. The look of a match which is going to go absolutely all the way, this one. Had a bit of an exchange of uh, opinions with a good mate of mine this afternoon who knows his darts, and he said, you watch. Deciding leg, deciding set. Could be, could be. Well, if we're going to keep this up, I sincerely hope it does go all the way. A maximum from Durrant. Adams replies in time. This is just great. Two heavyweights exchanging massive blows. Well, he couldn't find the treble that time. Now what can Adams do to him here, having one, had one maximum? That's four. That's five. And that's six. It's on. We have a two. A nine dart leg at Lakeside for 25 years. Paul Lim did it in 1990. Adams has been this far already this week. He's hit the treble 20. Two away from it, Martin Adams. Double 12 for darting greatness. What a letter in 29. He's denied by the wick of a wire. But here's a moment in the match. What
Adams couldn't go much closer without getting it 164 Durant well he can't get it so Adams will return looking for well, on a 10 dart now Martin he's got to take it after that two sixes for Adams oh now Durrance, having watched Adams, almost gets a nine darter with double 12. With his own 13 darter, can win the leg. Yeah, this comes to the first round. Dan Durrance, second leg is more than the 12 players came on. Darting drama at its absolute finest. Sometimes see that, Vassos. Six Players seven. go close to that nine darter, and when they come back, just looking for kind of what should be a straightforward finish, it just stays elusive, and that was what happened that time to Adams. Ninety-five. Thought he got it wasn't far away was he Mr Taylor came desperately close in a final in the other place and it was no closer than that One on the twice now this week Martin Adams has started a leg with two maximums on the first occasion, a couple of nights ago, he missed the seventh dart at treble 20. This time, well, you just don't come closer to a nine dart at 52,000 pounds. Incidentally, had that gone the other side of the double 12 wire. All in the past now, and the reality of this particular 58. This particular leg is that uh, Durant looking for a break here. And if he takes this leg. And the set, he'll be ahead in the match. This is eighth maximum, the 15th of the match. John, I would like to nominate that previous leg as leg of the tournament. Well, they don't come much better, do they? 98. Very, very special. Double 18 then for Adams. Inside again, now looking at the nine. Yeah, that's going to be the second round. Kept his composure. But it's like it's going to throw first. Game on. Well, he just missed seven darts at a double. Four in the previous leg, one in the previous set. So, one on the end, fair to say that Martin Adams needed that. Who's your money on now? Three sets apiece, one leg apiece, and if he can find a treble well, 20 well. there, he'll be on the same number of points as well, not quite. Pick him, absolute pick him match this. One on the day, 40. Both of them with averages in excess of the ton. Benchmark of Real world class throwing. And these two lads are up there. 95. One on the five. Wolf had got that it'd have uh, that nine dart would have trousered fifty two grand, wouldn't he? What he's done really well, having not just missed well, out on 40, a little piece of dancing history, £52,000, but also the leg is recovered. Recovered really well to win that previous leg. 
and he's in there and battling here. And it shows how well he's throwing, doesn't it? He wouldn't, wasn't phased, maintained his concentration. Knew that Adams he didn't get it. He was going to get his chance, and he took it. No check out here for Adams. Durant will come back needing tops for 2-1. One on the end, Those are fine dots. Can you require 14? To hold this throw. Doesn't want to miss this. No score. And he has. Now, against the throw. Adams now double 16. And yeah, Derek feels the pain. That hurts. Big moment in the match. And Adams deals a big blow. Well, you said it, John. His shoulders visibly slumped as Wolfie 55. found the double 16. It's not always the most demonstrative, is he? But uh, we saw a big reaction there. Not sure the crowd would have picked it up. But you at home, you saw it. Now, this is the measure of the man. One on the end, 40. Back with a big 140. One on So Martin with the darts. Hoping to edge in front. 4-3 in sets. He hasn't been behind yet. Well, how close we came to that nine data from Martin Adams, who's battling to stay in contention here. If he wins this, he will take this all-important set. Another 40. Now, how close can you come? Oh. Fifty-four. Only fifty-four from Glenn Durrant. So six darts from two oh six for Martin Adams. He'd love a one forty. One on the end forty. Loves it so much that he gets it. Durrant two oh seven with Adams poised on sixty six. Very very attainable figure to pick up this set and go 4-3 ahead. Here we go, 66 required, he's looking at the 10. Oh, he's gone the bull route. Nine for double 16. 50. Glenn. Glenn, you require 67. Should have at least one dart at a double to take us to a deciding leg in this set, a leg in which he would have the darts. He's got two darts for double eight. Yeah, Brilliant bottle from the Borough boy. Well, just when you think Billy that Adams is poised first, and that he's on. delivered a blow from which Durant might not be able to recover, he shows his mettle once more. All square, and now, he has the darts to go ahead in the match. Forty-eight. He would have hoped for more than forty-eight. It goes without saying. Well, wherever you're watching, I hope you're enjoying this as much as we are and the capacity crowd at Lakeside. Two players, both averaging in excess of a hundred. And we'll pass the halfway stage of the match now, and you still can't pick a winner. And it's not just the scoring that's impressive. 16. They are holding their nerve at the business end of the legs. Durant's actually won more legs than Martin. But who's going to win this leg? This could be key. One on the end, 14. Massive, this. And Adams at the moment has the edge. Hitting big numbers just when he wanted them. The ton followed by the ton 40. 
96. He's already had a dart for the set, hasn't he, Wolfie? Missed the double 16 in the previous leg. Got the advantage of throwing first, having hit ton, ton 40 with his opening two visits, and he's on a finish first. He won't want to let his prey give him the slip again. Good first dart. Superb second dart. Staying where he is. Oh. Fabulous. Matching the tally of Adams, still anybody's leg, anybody's set. Well, well, well. It all comes down to this. Who's going to take a 4 3 lead into the break? First is six, remember, through to the final. Treble 19 tops for Durham. He's going to have a dart at it. Yeah, and it's all solved. And so it's needs. Adams had a dart for a 4 3 lead. Just missed. Durant didn't miss. Found the red bit at the top of the board. And he walks off stage with a spring in his step. He's two sets away from the final. <laughs> Here. We could actually now be watching the greatest dart that's ever been played on Lakeside Stage here. You really think so? Possibly what? the greatest ever. Yeah, they're both over 100 average at the moment. I mean, you've still got a long way to go in this game. Yeah, both averaging over 100. Martin Adams and Glenn Durham are back on the stage. This is an absolute cracker, boys. And it's George Riley alongside Vassas now in the commentary box. Big call, isn't it, from Ted? But you won't find many who disagree with him. Are we witnessing the greatest match in Lakeside history? I tell you what, if they keep this up, and if it does go all the way, then there'd be no argument. Both players averaging 101. Eight set first lap is Martin the 21st, Demon. There is one set in it, and it's Glenn Durrant of Middlesbrough, who leads Martin Adams, the three times former champion, by four sets to three. Oh, Not a bad touch after the race. After the break, is it, George? Well, the standard Vassos is absolutely ridiculous. Oh, if you're thinking of switching this off, have a word with yourself. This is sporting theatre, it's terrific entertainment. It's impossible to call. Look at that. Both players are over a ton average. 59. And, and the thing is, they're holding their nerve at the end of the legs as well. 14 out of 31, 12 out of 29. Really good. 99. And just while we're talking about averages, look at the first nine both players and this isn't just one set of darts we're talking about it's seven seven sets of darts 96. and they're still throwing this well oh he didn't count very well there martin because he's left 166 which is not doable in three darts well, then, 24. But glenn was counting but just missing the 18s yeah, Wolfie muttering to himself. Very out of character, that, wasn't it? I don't think it'll be terminal for him in this leg, but you don't expect to see it. 34. What a response that is. Well, he has had a dart, his last dart, in fact, at double 16. 96. Was for Martin the seventh set. Was for a 4-3 lead. This is to hold his throw at the start of the eighth set. First to six will play Scott Mitchell in tomorrow's final. Must hit double eight, you feel. Yeah, and it's in short in the first line. Martin Adams. Second line gets in the throw first. Game on. Worth recapping, if you missed 
set number seven. Try and see it again. Martin was within the square root of a millimetre of making a bit of darting history for himself. Bent the wire on a nine darter, lost the leg, lost the set. 83. So, a 180 to start the leg from Martin Adams at the start of that seventh set, followed by another maximum, 58. and then this. We'll see it after these three darts. Very rare loose one. A couple of loose ones from Martin. 22. Yes. Yes. Oh. It's one of those. Every time you watch it back, you think this time it's going to go in. They've both got oh. it. This is Naughty Darts! He's not on a finish and it doesn't matter. Sixteen. Atmosphere is always brilliant on semi-final Saturday at Lakeside and the standard of this match has helped on my way up to the commentary box Vassos there's a very animated conversation going on between Banana Man Charlie Chaplin and the British Bulldog the fans are loving it only at Lakeside One hundred. you require 103 to level the set. 17s? No. Maybe the bullseye. Went for it. Martin Rebar, 156. So how do you fancy this one, Wolfie? Looks like he might do. Not quite. Just hit the barrel and deflected into the single five. Unlucky, it was a good dart. 84, then you require 59. So 19 tops for one apiece. Two if he needs them. He does. Double 10 to hold. No. 49. Martin requires 72. Double 18 for Martin Adams to break the throw to move two legs ahead. Oh, double 17. He's hit double one. Bottom of the board. 38. Right then. Then you require a left on for Durant. Is he getting nervous? What a big dart this is. No soul. Much you require 34. Well, Wolfie won't have expected to have a dart here. Yeah, that's been shown in the second round. Double 17 for two zip. Burdock is more than the throw first. Game on. Martin has the darts as he looks to level at 4 4. Ted Hankey's just come in the commentary box and mouth. Incredible. And it is. One of the 23. At least I think that's what he said. <laughs> It's evenings like it's nights like this, Bass, at the lakeside. Ted the Camp wants to be well, back out there. He wants to be part of this. He will be. He will be. Don't you worry about it. But at the moment, these two are providing more than enough entertainment. Well, at times, it's, it's makes more than we can bear. Terrific adjustment. Oh, well, look at that. Ball. Martin Adams here throwing for the eighth set to tie this semi final at four apiece. 100. He 
can't miss. 1-11-40, Every visit so far has been 100 plus in this leg. Treble 19 would leave him double 10. 99, Glenn so, when he comes back, Adams will have 58, if he comes back. He might not, you know. Bullseye! One of the end forty. Great start to the leg from Darren. He will have another chance, even if he loses this leg, Martin Adams, to take the set and level the semi-final with the darts in the deciding leg. It doesn't look like he is going to be breaking the current throw to win the set. Not with a 140-180 start. 12-dart leg from Durant to break back there. 16. Two hundred ahead, plus these. Eighty three, twenty one hundred and thirty nine. So, can you take this out, Glenn? Elevens. Oh, yeah, this is ridiculous! Back to back legs of utter brilliance. A 12 darter, crowned by a 1 3 3, followed by a 12 darter, crowned by a 1 3 9. This is a huge leg. Two apiece. In the eighth set, Adams has the darts and he has a decent start. But if Darren breaks here, he goes 5-3 ahead in a race to six. Difficult to overstate how important the next two minutes are in the lives of those two men. There's Lee, Martin's partner. In fact, she looks like the calmest person at Lakeside. Looks can be deceptive. One Not much in the leg. Not much in the match. But this is so key. Every dart One so important. What a big 140. Dad here up on stage. This is for the set 136. And he's seeing the treble bed like a beach ball, Wolfie, at the moment. Look at this. Double eight. Oh, yeah, that's been yes. shot to the eight set. Martin Adams. 4 4 with a 136. This is class. One set first lap. It's Clementine first. Demon. Well, everyone here at Lakeside can go home tonight and say, I was there. Three 12 dart legs in a row. Bonobo. And the semi final is all square again at four apiece. And we still have not a clue who's going to be playing Scott Mitchell in the final. I wonder how much Scott's 81. enjoying this evening. Well, look at those averages. We're in set number nine.
both players averaging over a ton. Identical oh, checkout percentages as well. 42. Excellent. Let's have a look at the big scores, shall we? 19 180s. 49 140s. There's another one. Stakes. Ninety-one. The arrows are white hot from both players. Sixteen. Darren's on a finish. Wolfie with a rare loose one. Can't take out 180. Surely not. Surely not. A bullseye for a 170. The daddy of the ball. 45. Not far away. He thought he had it. He thought he had that, Glenn. He'll be back, but there might be some substantial pressure. Would have been a fourth successive 12 dart legs had Glenn Durren hit the bullseye. Two darts at double eight, or Wolf is ready to pounce. Yeah, that's game shot in the first round. Glenn Durren. Second leg gets more than the 12 first. Game on. All of 14 darts, that one. One on the end, 14. Well, this is the kind of scrap, as you alluded to earlier, Vassos, that Martin Adams absolutely loves. Yet, One on the normally he may expect his opponent to crumble. Not a chance. Well, there was a whisper that Glenn Durrant's been doing really well all week, but he's been front-running. And One people wondered 40. what he'd be like under pressure. Well, pressure doesn't come much bigger than this. And he has stood up to every inch of it. Is this another? One of the you... Oh, just high. I thought he'd got it. Is this another? One of the end, 14. Martin way clear. He may not be after these three. 100. Martin require 81. This is for an 11 data, by the way, if he takes this out. Double 13. To hold his throw. 68. Glenn, you require 161. Well, this would be immense. Not this time. 58. Martin, you require 13. Right, Wolfie, five double four for one apiece. Yeah, that's been shown in the second round. Martin Allen. Just stand and applaud and then sit and enjoy. 96. Martin Adams saying this week that he's just about back to his best, but he thinks there's a little bit more in the tank. We're seeing more in that tank here this evening. Yeah, he was just saying that. He, he <laughs> knew he was back. He's known it all week. He's going about his business. Remember, this is his 22nd consecutive appearance 
at the World Championships. He's been coming here every year since 1994. 16. Since before the World Cup in the USA that England failed to reach. Every year since then, first week of January, Martin is spent on that stage. Graham Taylor 16. was still England manager when Wolfie was on this hockey for the first time. Not yet a turn. Ninety-nine. Four, four, one, one. Wants another one to leave a finish. One hundred. Then you require one hundred and forty-six. He went for ball, which would have left a couple of eights, but he's got breathing space here with Martin back on 1-8-1. It's the beauty of this match. One hundred. Then you require 59. There have been very few legs where anyone's had more than a couple of darts at a double. Double ten. Or will he be punished? There you go, he's missed two darts at a double. But Martin Adams is poised to strike. Treble for double 13. Missed it in the last leg. Yeah, that's good. Not so in the third time. Martin Adams. That is a big leg of darts for Martin Adams. The darts to move ahead again. 5-4 in sets. Durant left the door ajar. 41. And the wolf was howling at it. There are some players. Jeff Smith, the Canadian who just couldn't live with Scott Mitchell in the first semi-final, being one of them, who genuinely do play the board and not the man. And that's admirable. Wolfie here, I think, plays the man. He plays the darts, he needs to, to win. And at the moment, he's been forced to play astonishingly good darts by Glenn Durant. And Durant... Firing in another 180. Just to remind us all that he's only a leg back, you know. 43. Oh, that was a forgettable visit from Martin. Let's forget about those three darts, I think. 33 ahead. Darren. And does, uh, does it on 19s to leave himself 110 away from breaking right back. All of a sudden, you know, Durant's favourite for the leg at the set. One of the leg, 14. Then you require 110. Still have the darts, remember, in the next leg, the decider. Treble 18 for double 18. Yeah, that's oh. King Shaw in the fourth round. Glenn Durham. Good luck, it's Dark. not the first. Game on. Of the highest possible standard. 4 4, 2 2, 5 0 1. Pick a winner. And they're two a penny in this match, but. Just to let you know, that was another 12-dart leg from Glenn Durrant to break back. Not the time for a bounce-out. Surely he'll find a treble with his last dart. No. Adams produced... 
a 12 dart leg and a 1-3-6 checkout to win the deciding leg of the last set One on the and level the semi-final. Whoever wins this leg moves a set away from the final. And still, who's your money Worth remembering as well, as these two throw haymakers at each other, that this is a lakeside legend, an institution, three times winner, against a guy who's never been here before. Not at this stage, anyway. 43. Yeah, Glenn Durrant, a second-round loser. 4-1, he lost to Alan Norris in round two last year, on debut. Very few players come back a year well, after their debut and produce darts like those. He's down to a finish to move ahead in sets. And since the 180, 59. Martin's scoring has deserted him. He's got six if he wants them. Treble 20. For double 14. Yeah, that's came short and nicer. Glenn Miller to move within a set of a first ever appearance in the Lakeside final. Glenn Durant. What do you think? If you were betting on it now, which way would you go? I'm still not even touching it. It's just an incredible game of darts. And you still think it's the best ever match ever on the Lakeside yeah, stage? Yeah, and I still think we've got a lot more to come, like I say. Uh, back to Georgia Vassos to guide us through the climax of this fantastic, epic, sensational semi-final. And you can add more superlatives as well, can't you, Ray? It's just been wonderful entertainment from the get-go. Adams 5... Adams four, Durrant five, in a race to six sets. At stake, a place in the final of the World Championships tomorrow evening. We're to a finish now. Ten set, first lock is more than the throw first, game on. Here we go, folks. They've been scoring well, but look at that. Ton plus finishes. Five of them from Glenn Durrant. 16. Three from Wolfie. Including that 136 to win the crucial deciding leg of the eighth set to tie it up at four all. He's got to hold his throw again in this set to take us to a deciding set. It's no less than this match deserves a deciding set. But Glenn will be hoping that there's only three legs left in it. Well, I said it before, I'll say it again. This is naughty darts. It's brilliant stuff. And he's getting better. 34, Martin Uniqua, 121. Treble 17 for Bullseye. Bullseye, will he go for it? You betcha. 96. Would have been for yet another 12 dart leg to kick us off on the home straight. 97. No more breaks, no more 25. chances to regather the thoughts or the emotions. We're to a finish. And Martin has one more dart at double eight. 
to our Justin Sword on the first line. Multi Ten seconds from the twenty first game on. Well, Dozer may have Wolfie in a muzzle here, but he's still biting. One on the end, 14. <laughs> 16. Hello. Did you really doubt that the third dart would also find the target? Another leg begins. 140, 180. 81. We're losing count, but that is the 23rd maximum of this astonishing darts match. 100. And an 11 dart leg in prospect from Durant here. 22. And he's got a very Premier nice look at it as 81. well. Because Wolfie's got nothing there. Treble 19 for double 12. That's chapter one. That's yeah, chapter that's two. 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 And a second round. Glenn Durant. Burn like it's morning the 12 first game on. My kids would call this sick, and they're not wrong. 97. I won't pretend to know what that means, but I know I'm enjoying it. 96. Chance here for Glenn Durrant. It's come down to the fact that Martin simply can't afford visits like 60 on his own throw. Durrant breaks here. He's got the darts and he's throwing for the match. Surely not another. 16. Has the tide finally turned against the wolf? 96. One little lapse could de decide the match here. 19 has the dart but he's got a lot of in his mind this leg 41 just to reiterate it's the first to six sets so if Glenn Durrant can take out 2-1-2 in six darts he will be throwing for a place in the final 58 He's on a finish, and you wouldn't put it past him. Turn 40 must, a must throw from Martin Adams. Oh, and he gets it! What? what nerve, what bottle, but... Treble 20. No. So he'll come down. Another one of those would leave a couple of tens if Adams lets him back. Just clarifying that with the ref. Still not sure, is he? 77 left. 96. Martin will require 103. Right then, Martin. This is a biggie. Brilliant first start, 11 for 16s. 
one dart at double 16. You yeah, kidding me? Came sold in the Bourbon. Oh, put that finish to music and play it over and over again. Magnificent from Martin Adams. A 140, followed by a 103 oh, checkout when he was on the ropes. He was miles behind. He knew that the finishing line was in sight for his opponent. And worse than that, he One knew that a couple of quiet scoring visits had almost handed it on a plate to Glenn Durrant. The chance to throw for a place in the final. 58. But he found a way back, Martin Adams. That's why we call him a match player. Gets it when he needs to. 13. Not there, he didn't. Didn't really need it, though. <laughs> He'll have the darts in the next leg. Ninety-nine. They've been here for nearly nine hours. One under. Most of the 1,500 people or so at Lakeside, not one of them, not one of them is thinking of leaving. 99. Well, Glenn's first to a finish here. Wolfie knows he's got the darts. He could still apply pressure in this leg. One under. Glenn, you require 125. There's the 25, so... Double top required. 85. Mark, you require 135. He's only hit three double 20s out of ten attempts. Martin can't now take out 1-3-1, so Glenn will have another chance. to take us to a deciding leg in this set. 99, then you require 14. The tops for Durant for 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, that's been solved in the fourth round. Glenn Durant. And suddenly, like he's one first. leg away. On. This is how close it's been. This is the fourth set in a row that has gone to a deciding leg. One hundred. But this time, Martin Adams knows that if he doesn't win it, he's out. One hundred. One hundred and forty. Big, big visit. In a leg of darts that Martin Adams has to win. Ninety-six. He's not. Finding the treble on this visit, though, and that was a big dart. You can't take your eyes off this one. Durant back on 305, but still there, still sniffing around. Wants a treble, otherwise. One on that end, Good thinking as well. Good thinking as well, but that's not a finish. One six eight. Wow, what a first dart that is. From Martin Adams. Forty-one. It's not slipping away, is it? 
Well, he'll have a chance. But he might have to take out Shanghai. Depending on what Durant does here. One over. Martin Ryan, 120. Well, this is pressure. This is pressure for Martin. He needs a treble. Oh, and he's hit the one. And suddenly... 78. The writing is pencilled upon the left side the wall. 68. 68 for the match. Sixteen for double sixteen for Glenn Durrant and a place in the final. Thirty six. Oh, he wasn't far away. I think he thought he'd done it. Martin, you require forty two. Okay then, Martin. Okay. Ten. Yes. No mistake. Two darts to stay alive. One dart at double eight to take us all the way. Yeah. Yes. 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 This match had to have a deciding set. It's no less than it deserved. We've got one. Five all in a race to six. One on the day, 40. What nerve. That is cucumber cool darts from Wolfie Adams. This isn't bad either. Oh, come on, it. Really, guys, stop it, stop it. Amazing. 140 from Durham. 180 from Adams. That could have gone either side of the wire as well. Durham's second dart. Push that one just a little. 85. They are watching through their fingers here. Saturday night at Lakeside has yielded a dramatic darting denouement. Whether you're a 54. fan of Durant or Adams. Good luck, everyone. Adams, 101 points away from breaking at the start of this deciding set. Just to let you know, if it does go Martin two legs all, the then they have to win by two clear legs until five all, when there's a bull up for a sudden death leg. Treble 19, he needed for double 12. Treble 10 leaves double 16. Either way, Glenn Durrant knows. 112 is practically a must. Brilliant first dart. One dart at tops. Yeah, to it's been solved in the first line. Glenn Durrant. Second line gets more than the first. first. Game on. To produce a finish of that standard under the most intense of pressure is sensational. Well, sensational is what it's been from the very first start 16. this match. We're in the 11th set. The 11th set. And have a look at these averages. One on the end, 34. Durren, north of 101. Adams just shy of 100. And just to put it in perspective, 100.29. By Keith Deller in 1985 is the highest ever losing average on the lakeside stage. Those checkouts are not shabby.
just by the way. Pressure on Adams here. 97. Who can find the break then? Down he comes, why not when you can throw that? 96. Once again, though, Glenn Durrant. Nick the advantage of the darts. 41. But only 41. Big let off for Wolfie. Got to make him pay, though. Of course he can. One on the end forty. Much required. One hundred and forty-five. Under pressure. Treble fifteen for tops. So Durren, 89 90. points away then you from a two-leg lead in the deciding set. Here we go. Moment of the match, potentially. 20 would leave Bull. Bullseye for a massive break. Oh, 64. No. Martin, you require 52. Held his mouth like he'd been punched. Probably what it felt like. Two 16s, and it will feel like he's been punched. Two eights now. 36. This is your time. Does that? Nine double eight, and you will be throwing for a place in the World Championship final. Double four. Yeah, that's been solved in the second round. Is that the moment? Birdlock is to silence the wolf. Two Game nil. Durham breaks. He has the darts. He can almost taste. A Sunday appearance at Lakeside for the first time. Glenn Durren. 16. Throwing for a place in the Lakeside final. Advantage Adams in this leg. But the match position now massively favours Durant. Big visit is essential. One on the eight, four, the two. are living every dart from both these fine players. They have produced their best on the biggest stage. The semi-finals of the World Championship. Dad looks kind of cool. Glenn's dad. That leaves a bullseye to break back. Martin Adams. 56. Glenn, you require oh, Three darts away from a first appearance in the final. 
the first one lands. Oh. Well, treble 16 will be the shot here. Here comes Martin to stay alive. Two darts at double eight. One at double four. Durant can't watch. 17. Well, 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 well. He's tantalizingly close. 16 for tops. This is for the match. This is for a place in the final. Glenn Durrant. 44. Martin Ricardo, 8. Double four, Martin. You've got to nail this. Oh, yeah, yes, you so. Martin Lowe. 4 back is Martin to throw first. Game on. It's astonishing. It is astonishing. Remember, if Adams does hold his throw here, they will need to win by two 40. clear legs before five all and the sudden death leg. Good 140 from Durant. This is still anyone's match. He's already had two darts for the match. A bullseye, a tots. Martin Adams, one of the toughest match players on the circuit, is not 16. done yet. Not by a long shot. Oh, this third dart is huge. 55. On 140 here, and he would have been on a finish. Needs at least a ton, Martin. 16. Is this it? Six darts from 201 for Durant. He's got a sniff. Seven. Fabulous third dart to leave 104 for the match. This is all Martin can do now. Score heavy and cross the fingers. Because this could be it. 104 for Glenn Durrant. Another one of those. Leaves double 16 for the match. 18. And he strays into Martin 86. 86. Double 16 for Adams. Well, this is it. This is it. Yeah, that's game shot. And the fourth line, Martin Adams. If the score reads 5 0, the 11th lap will be 7 back. 5th lap, it's going to 12 first. Game on. Well, the good news is we've got at least two more legs of this. Can we just turn the scoreboard well, off and play no. this all night? Dream darts from these two. Have a look at the scoring. Okay, Durant has now dipped under 100, but 
Not by much. What and a Adams isn't far behind. Look at the checkouts as well. 23 to 22. 5 5 2 2. Neck and neck in leg number what five. Set number 11. Well, if this was a deciding leg, which it isn't, this would have been the fifth set in a row that had gone to it. This is the fifth set in a row that's gone to all. Now, Darren with the darts, but back on 3.01. Can he fashion a 140 to leave himself on a finish? No, he can't. He won't be on a finish. 45. Just to reiterate, you have to win by two clear legs. And speaking of two, Glenn Durrant has had two darts at a oh, double man. for the match. One at tops, one at double 16. He didn't miss him by much, but he did miss him. Is that on his mind right now? Nerves are jangling on every one table. One, two, one is the first look at a break. He's done this twice this match already. Bullseye. Bullseye. 84. Glenn Unicorn, 116. To hold his throw under all sorts of pressure. Treble 20 for double 18. Oh, he's found the treble 20. Good dart. Double 18. 98. Dad watches on. Can't believe what he's seeing. Martin Adams now to break the throw. Two darts, double 16 for a monumental break. Yeah, that's been shot in the fifth round. Martin Adams. Moves of steel. Six seconds. Martin Adams, Adams who will now Come throw on. for a place in the final. And look at the emotion now on Glenn Durant. He's thinking, has my chance gone? You've got to regroup, does it? 95. It doesn't get better than this. People are already thinking, I was there. Martin's thinking, 16. I'm nearly there. 406 points away from another final. One over. Just when you think. 83. Durham might be struggling with a 60 followed by a dart in triple one. He finds the treble 20 again. It has been just brilliant from both players. One hundred. Need something special though, Vasos, I fear. Because it's advantage Adams. Great dart. One He's saying to Martin, you're going to have to beat me. Should leave a finish after this visit. Almost certainly will now. Oh, yes. A decent finish too. A 106. Durant now to pressure that. Has to score big here because Martin Adams will return with 106 to take out for a place in the final. Big, big Martin final dart. It might be his final dart of the tournament. 106. 14 leaves 16s. He's got into the double. So double nine. This is a tricky one, Martin. And the dart's in the way. This is darting drama. Double nine. Over a dodgy dart for the match. 88. Durant breathes again. I don't know, can you breathe under these circumstances? 
That's the treble 20. Treble 14. Now he needs the ball to stay alive. Yeah, oh, he can't stop it. He can't just stand there, can he? Stop it. No, no, no. no. Really? Is this happening? Seven Rockets, Clement Trump first. Game on. A one, two, four. Well, here's some more good news. We've got two more legs at least. <laughs> Dorrance missed two darts for a place in the final. Now Wolfie's missed one. one. And just in case you've joined us in the past 40 minutes or so, Martin Adams at the start of the seventh set was one millimetre away from Lakeside's first nine dart leg in 25 years and only the second of all time. Here he goes again into Treble 20. His 14th 180 of a pulsating match. Five all, three all, six points in it. 41. You are kidding me. Poor visit though that from Glenn. Yeah, hasn't left the finish, which means Martin here can put himself in pole position to win this leg one and again one. move to within one of the final. You must win by two clear legs until five apiece when we'll talk again. One it, one. You can't even say it's Martin basically one first one. to break. We've had back to back. Treble 17 for Bullseye. But 57. Glenn 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 86. Does have a chance to hold his throw. To nudge ahead once more. Treble 18. Another one of those. Double seven. He's hit the treble. 72. Martin requires 64. Well, he should have at least one dart at a double here, maybe two. Tops he needs. Yes, it's in the eight. Tops! Yeah, let's get it in the seven yes. Martin O. Eight black gets marked in the 12 first. Game on. Three breaks in a row in the decider. Duran looks to the skies. Whoa. Martin looks to the treble. Duran living every one of those Adams darts, and everyone felt like it was a dart to the heart. He's throwing for a place in the final, and he starts with a 180. His 15th of this match. And he's back in again. Surely not. He won't care. He's come close to the nine data tonight. Well, he just team. wants to come close to the finishing line and cross it. What a response, though. Well, <laughs> the you just knew it. You just knew it. It's barely believable darts. Look at the emotion under this roof. One He'll have 81 though, Martin Adams, to win the match. It has to be a big one, this, to apply some pressure. It isn't going to be. Is it starting to slip, slide away from Glenn Durrant? 41. Because it's a poor visit. Martin, Martin Adams has six starts at 81. Double 13 for a place in the final. Game, shot, and match! Martin Adams! He's done it! Can you believe the match you've seen? An unfair.
unforgettable game of darts. The best of all time? You better believe it. 11 sensational sets of darting drama. And Wolfie's won it. No one deserved to lose that. Nobody deserved to lose that. Ladies and gentlemen, we have just seen without doubt one of the finest games seen on the stage of the Lakeside in 30 years. Please show your appreciation as he leaves the stage. Dazza Glenn Durrant. down wins 6-5 two legs down in the final set wins in years martin adams is close to treble 20. he's into his fifth final he's targeting a fourth pdo world title he had to summon up incredible reserves of determination and doubles wolfie the winner will hear from him in a few minutes time that was amazing the best ever game on the lakeside stage